Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Noemi from Pigeon Art and today we are doing part two of the book nook video. The only thing that I've done between the end of the video, the last video, and the now is I've placed this in there for now just so I could get a photo of it for the thumbnail and I decided I would brick all of the sides because I put it in the bookshelf with some books around it and I realized well some books are going to be taller, some books are going to be shorter. I just wanted to make sure it was covered. I didn't do anywhere that was covered in uh, sticky tape. I'm still waiting on the LED light strips. They've been sent uh, because we're in lockdown and a lot of people are doing the right thing and buying online. Delivery is just slower at the moment. So I'm, that's fine, I can keep going anyway. I will leave that in until I'm ready to put the LEDs in. I'll just start on the outside. So I'm gonna start by uh, doing the same thing I did inside there, which was using paint, PVA glue and water, like a mixture of that, and some tissues. Lay down that, the tissues and that will give me some texture. I haven't explained why I've used black. Not only is this gonna be, you know, giving me the texture of some stone, it's also gonna be my base color. So on top of this, I'm gonna be brushing on lighter grays and browns and stuff like that. And that's that's what's gonna give me the color of the brick, but then in between those colors, there'll be the black, which sort of look like the grout. So here's where we're up to now. Once it's dry, I'll rip off the um, excess tissue. When I tried to rip it off before without it being dry, it just <laughs> ripped in the wrong spots. So yeah, here we are. And I'll be doing the same again on the steps and on the sides. There will be cardboard here, which I'll glue in once it's all ready to go. Um, there will be string lights behind that back wall there and they will be lit up to look like um, this photo that I'm putting on the screen now. That's where I'm at. I'm going to be waiting for the ring lights to come in before I continue on, I think. So it's been a few weeks since I've actually worked on my diorama because I was waiting for the lights to arrive. They have now arrived. I'm thinking of putting a hole through here so I can stick the cables through it and then this little control box can sit on the back there and yeah we'll see how we go <sighs> so I broke some lights as I was squeezing it through and some of them are yellow rather than white but never mind You can't see any of that because, hang on, what if I do this, there you go, you can't see me now but that's what it looks like in there, it looks like fire. <laughs> so I'm going to put the this back in now, okay. It's barely worth it isn't it? Lighting up where I want it to line up. Like that should be like lit up. Why I it lit up? First problem is try not to hit the watercolor sky. Uh, this is annoying. I've not been very careful on around the uh, skyline. So. I'm 
not 100% sure I've made the right call. Um, it does seem to cover up a lot of the texture, but I'm hoping when I br dry brush, it'll um, pop right back up. So we'll see. I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be back in about half an hour or so. So last time you saw me, you heard me say, I'll be back in half an hour when this is dry. It's uh, a week later and uh, it never came back. I decided to finish editing another video while it was drying and then didn't come back to it. Since then, I have moved back into my studio. So I'll be, you won't see me down here anymore. <laughs> it's a mid video edit. So if you're wondering why I, not in this room anymore that is why okay so now i have to figure out whether this plasticky stuff will film stuff will stick to cardboard with pba glue or uh heat gun and also if it will stay painted as in if the paint will flake off i don't want it you know those are my questions for today uh, what I did discover is if it's too hot, the glue, and you put it down straight away, it um, melts it. So, but I think uh, I think I'll just I will use the hot glue gun because this one's the PVA glue, and they just lift it up. So, and this doesn't seem to want to lift up. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I started trying to dry brush, but I realized I think it's not quite even enough for it to work. Um, you know, that back one's maybe even enough, but all these side ones, too much of different colors and stuff. And also I don't think I've filled in some parts enough. So I'm just gonna do that first. Then I'm gonna dry brush. I think it'll look much better now. Uh, I'm gonna start dry brushing on the back here. Um, okay, one thing I'm really bad at, and like, let's remember, I, I've never done this before. So. <laughs> but 3D painting, what, what? Like, paint brushes, brush strokes everywhere. You can see one behind there as well in on the back thing. <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh no, oh well, you know, it's done now. While that's drying, I will paint these, and I think I will use black as well as brown, because that brown was just a little bit, you know, not something I want on my diorama. Looks a bit like changing a nappy. I think it's gonna need a couple coats. Okay, so I'm gonna be dry brushing this color on. Now, dry brushing is where you put paint on your brush and then you take most of it off and then you brush it onto your piece and that will mean that it picks up all the little details up here so it'll pick up textures and details but not go all the way through so it'll give you more depth in your in your painting now that's far too much on my brush all right don't do that <laughs> this is a method we use on canvases as well See how it's picking up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I've done the frame now. I think the rest is dry enough for me to attack. I'm really happy with those steps. You can really see the cobblestones. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is go at one shade lighter and just all over. And then I will decide whether I add the, the warm gray and the cool gray later as a wash. 
or if I dry brush that as well. So it'll be layers and layers of dry brushing, we'll see. So something I'm discovering is less texture is better to make it look like a stone wall and more texture like that would look better as a boulder or a cave or something, I think. So that's something to, for me to keep in mind for next, just, next time. So I really like how that looks um, with the dry brushing and everything, but not as much with this. To me that's more like a stone. It's still a stone, but a stone that's been shaped by nature rather than by humans. Pretty happy with that. Um, I'll show you some close-ups. Now for the next thing to do is to do the wash. Yes, yeah, so I think I'll be doing the wash with either a brown umber for the bricks and for the cobblestones I'll use some sort of blue. This is a wash. It's going to go over what we've done and just give it a hint of um, blue in it. I hope. I'm saying these things. I'm not 100% sure. I'm still working this out as I go. Lightening it. Let me just pick some of that up. All it's doing is lightening it rather than actually changing the, the warmth of it. Well, that's better. I'm happier with that than, than with the blue gray. All right, well, I'm not sure that it's done what I wanted it in that it's warmed up the, the, the gray in there, but it's kind of like weathering and I'm okay with that because it's a castle and it's old, so. So in the first video, I talked about how I was a bit nervous about what I was gonna do for the foliage because I don't have fake foliage and I didn't want to buy any just for one video, which turns out to be two videos, but uh, so, my thoughts are I'm not going to do the foliage and instead I'll bring in the green through moss on the steps. I'm thinking dry brushing will probably work better. So I've added more dry brushing and more highlights again. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I don't know how much is too much, you know, but I'm going to start adding highlights with the green. Now, what does moss green look? like not that I just put the tiniest amount in it's just to make it less all about the stone and add a bit of green to it It's gonna have some light in there, a light in there, so it shouldn't be quite feeling so dark. I also have decided it looks like Ober Newton. I'm gonna put it between those books. I think we're getting close to finishing here. This. I'm gonna do one more bit of dry brushing just just with white, I just feel like it's so dark in there. I'm a bit nervous it's gonna look bad.
Thank you so much for watching. This video has been a bit of a journey and a bit of a roller coaster, but I'm pretty happy with the results. I wish I hadn't um, cut out the whole trees and the foliage because I feel like that's part of the photo that gives it a bit more color and life, but we just have to have baby steps. If you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to hit the like button. It helps me out in that it tells YouTube that it's worth watching and worth recommending to other people. I upload every Sunday, so I might see you then. Bye!